What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, I'm in my fourth email request. I like doing these. They're simpler. Uh, they help you guys out at the same time. So I'm going to keep doing them. And I said I was going to do a video every day uh, in July. I'm going to try, okay? But well, I, hold, on, hold on. I was going to jump into it. This is a short email too, by the way, so thank you. Secondly, if you haven't yet, please subscribe, okay? So, hi, Elliot. So, I met this guy from Tinder. Uh, he asked me out one night, and we got connected right away, and we kept texting. He checks on me maybe three or four times a week. We have met three times already. We had intimacy on the third hangout. Uh, my problem is sometimes he is sexual, and I don't know how to handle it. I respond sometimes, and I try to be flirty and all, but... I just don't know what his intentions are, if they're just sex or if he wants something more. Um, or maybe he's just comfortable with me already. How do I handle this guy? I like him and I don't want to scare him away. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, shit. So here's the thing. All guys want sex. Okay, for the most part. There's those, there's those fucking soy boys who, you know are fucking little pansies and I don't know whatever you know oh I don't I don't want to touch you uh, let's just see where it goes for enough like fuck that like all guys for the most part want sex so what's hard to decide now okay hold on let me, let me back up I'm gonna tell you what's hard to decipher here but I'm gonna tell you beforehand uh what I think's going on the guy just want um, the guy just wants sex okay and the reason I say the guy wants sex is because I've only met you three times, um, you know, and, and, and I'm on Tinder. Like, what makes you so special that I want a relationship, right? Like, the guy just met you. <laughs> You've only been dating three times, and I'm on Tinder. And you already had sex with me. So why would I date you if I have, uh, you know, uh, an abundance of women in the palm of my hand? What makes you so special? I'm not saying you're not. I'm asking you the question what makes you so special okay so now with that being said i don't ever want to jump to that conclusion a lot of the times as a coach because that's not fair you're not giving the guy the right to a free trial you could say um i'm just saying this from experience or from being a young horny man myself okay like this happens if you're on tinder and you already had sex and he already had sex with you and you've only met three times why would he jump into a relationship unless he's actually a guy looking for a relationship and you're so effing awesome that he's willing to give up all these other women? Okay. But at the same time, going back to what I was originally going to say, I don't like jumping to this conclusion because guys who have good intentions also act this way. Like guys are just sexual by nature. It is good that this guy is checking in with you four times a week, whatever checking in means. I mean, I guess you'd be texting you four times a week. Yes, that's great. That's awesome. Good for him. Good for you. That's a good start. You know, but this, I mean, it's natural for a guy to be sexual, especially if you're talking four times a week. It's going to happen. You're wondering what to do now because you think, or because you're wondering, oh shit, is his attention purely sexual? You're going to have to play it out. You know, I, I, I think it's good that you waited the third day. I would have waited a little longer, but I'm, you know, you guys are probably young and, and in the mood and the guy probably sweet talks you and it happens, right? But uh, I would wait it out. I would not make any conclusions. If you don't want to scare the guy away, don't get... Why could, what usually happens in this situation is the girl gets in her head because you, I can already tell you're freaking out because you don't know what side he's on and you want to figure out. And so by getting that validation, you're going to start digging. And, by start, and when you start digging, you start asking questions and you start acting different and you start doing things differently to get that validation. Um, and he's going to be like, no. Like, okay, I'm done with that, Okay. I say you just go, hey, you already had sex with him, so you know what? Just go with the flow and see what happens. Just hang out, have fun, don't hook him up, don't hook up with him every time you go out, make him invest more in you. I'm telling you, women, you got to make a guy fucking work.
Okay, you got to make a guy work. You, you, this guy has only seen you two other times besides the third time you hooking up with him, and he only and he and he just checks in three times a week. Like that's not work. You got to make the guy invest his resources, time, energy, effort, money, and things like that to uh, to see where it goes. Okay. Uh, with that being said, th that's all you can really do. I would just make the guy work for it a little harder. I would play the long game. And I would not keep on putting out. I'm not saying you can't hook up with him again. Just don't make. As soon as the guy starts expecting the hookup, the, the expectation of a hookup when you guys hang out, that's a problem. Okay, so that being said, I love you. Take care. And peace, ladies.